Hey everybody, welcome to uh, thehuntinggourmet.com. I'm Louis Borowitz, one of the co-founders of the website. Thanks for joining us. Today I've got a recipe for a, uh, a wild, um, wild game pierogi. Uh, this comes from one of my, uh, uh, the roots of how I grew up um, as a, a Polish lad. Uh, my grandmother used to make pierogi all the time, uh, one of the family favorites. But uh, today we're going to incorporate a bison and elk uh, with a wild mushroom uh, filling for the pierogi. We're going to home make our pierogi dough and we're going to start there actually. Uh, so what we're going to do is combine the wet ingredients first. We've got six eggs. We have 16 ounces of sour cream. We're also going to add uh, six cups of flour uh, for the dry ingredients. We're going to sift that through with baking soda, and a little bit of salt. After you have uh, combined your wet ingredients, uh, the six eggs and the 16 ounces of sour cream, we're going to go ahead and add our dry ingredients that we've sifted together. Uh, we've got half a teaspoon of kosher salt or good high-end sea salt. We're going to do, for a double recipe, we're going to do two tablespoons of baking powder. I like to measure with my hands. And then we'll incorporate the flour, just all-purpose flour. And then we'll combine that in here, let it knead down. Um, I will actually switch out to the dough hook after this is incorporated so that we get a nice good kneading action. Well, now that we've actually incorporated the dry ingredients into the mixer, it's formed a dough. I've switched out the, uh, the paddle for a dough hook to continue to knead it. I'll do this for another minute or two so that it gets incorporated really well, get the elastins and the gluten mixing up and activate it in the batter. After that, what I'll do is I will actually take it out and put it on a, um, in a bowl, floured, and let it sit up for about an hour before I start to work with it and uh, form the pierogi shells. Now that the dough has been worked with the, uh, with the dough hook, it's going to have this consistency. It's a little tacky. It needs to sit up for about an hour. What we'll do is go ahead and cover that. If you have a sealed container, that's great. Or something I like to use is press and seal, which actually gets an airtight seal around the top. Go ahead and set it aside. That'll sit for about an hour. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is create the filling to put into our pierogies. And what I'm going to be using um, are elk, ground elk and ground bison. <clears throat> I've got a hot pan with about a tablespoonful of olive oil. And the pan's been heating up. Let's add that to the pan. Add our bison and incorporate it together. You want to get it very finely ground. You want to get it very finely mixed and ground through. And what we'll do is actually uh, mix the two together very thoroughly and then break it down in the pan as best we can. Uh, then what we'll, we'll do after that gets ground is actually add, I made a maceration of um, cremini mushrooms and uh, sweet bell peppers and actually food process that very very fine this is going to be kind of part of the glue it's going to add a lot of flavor um, and it's going to really get incorporate the meat with the mushroom flavor and then we're also going to work in after we get this browned down and all incorporated together mix that in with some potato as well that I've mashed earlier kind of a rough mash so that it sticks together nicely you can form it into a ball and then wrap the pierogi um, and make it a real nice neat little package Okay, so what we've uh, done here is got a fine grind and incorporated both the elk and the bison together. I added also the, uh, the mushroom and pepper uh, maceration and also a fair amount of crushed red pepper. You can probably see it in there, the red flecks. And um, onion salt, a fair amount of uh, fresh uh, ground black pepper as well. So we're going to let this sit up, cool down a little bit. Meanwhile, over here we still got our dough that's in the bowl and is continuing to incorporate and sit up here at room temperature. Um, 
what I would do is occasionally stir this here to allow the heat to escape and get it down so it's cooled. Otherwise what it will do when you uh, create your pierogies is it will uh, start to uh, melt through the dough so you do want it to be at, at room temperature or even cooled if you can before you make your pierogies. Hey welcome back to the huntinggourmet.com uh, working on the recipe for pierogies with wild game that being uh, elk and bison. What I've already prepared here um, is the browned meat with red pepper, onion salt, various spices um, and a little bit of, uh, of a coriander actually that I added. And now as more of a binding agent I'm going to use some of the prepared mashed potatoes that I, that I cooked earlier. Incorporate that into here, mix it up with the whisk very, really well until we get kind of a, something that we can actually form into a, a, a small ball that will stay together so that when we wrap our pierogies in the dough, which is still working over here in the corner, um, we'll be able to put them together easily and they will taste delicious. As an additional binding agent, what I'm uh, incorporating too is some uh, ricotta cheese. And then what I'll do is just work this together, get it really well mixed, and then reserve it in the fridge. And we'll get this all mixed in, almost like mashed and potatoes. Uh, the proportions that we put in here um, was all of the meat mixture, uh, the mushroom kind of slurry with the peppers, and about two cups of mashed potatoes, and about eight ounces of uh, ricotta cheese. All right. Now what we, uh, we've already got uh, the refrigerated uh, pierogi filling here and my daughter Madison is actually helping roll out the pierogi dough. It's been well floured and uh, we prepared the counter, of course sterilized it. And then you get it nice and flat. And we've already prepared a couple. Oh, good job, hon. Already prepared a couple, so you want to actually get them in uh, nice rounds, about two and a half inches around. What I've used to do that is just a little bowl. Actually, it's one of the girls' bowls. Works great. Just the right dimension. What do you think? You ready to cut some pierogies? Yeah. Hey, welcome back. We're still just finishing off the wild game pierogies. What I'm doing now, uh, we have actually gone ahead and formed them into the individual uh, little pierogies and wrapped the meat. Um, up in the middle here, pinch together, and then use the fork to pinch down the dough to keep them all in uh, the pierogi dough. Set those on a floured towel so that they don't stick. Now we're going to prepare the pan to saute them and also the water to boil them in. You want to actually boil them in about a four quart uh, pot with boiling salted water. So we're going to start them in there, they're going to boil in that uh, until they rise to the top, that'll tell you they're done. And then we're going to pan sear them with sautéed onions in a pan until they get caramelized on the outside and mix in with that wonderful onion taste. I'm also, which is, that's actually very traditional, I'm also going to add some red pepper, dice this up, just a, a pretty coarse chop, sauté the peppers and onions first and then add the completed pierogies to the top of that until they get nice and brown and caramelized and delicious. And then you've got wonderful wild game pierogies. Enjoy.